Hello everyone, Sunrag here. So in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the four stars that will appear in the two banners of patch 2.0. Before we get started, just want to say a huge thank you to everyone. The channel is very close to 2000 subscribers now. So for those of you who have not subscribed, if you think I've earned your subscription, I would appreciate if you can click that subscribe button. With that said, let's jump into the actual content. So currently, all the information we know, Ayaka will appear on July the 21st, once the 1.6 becomes the past and 1.7 becomes playable, she will appear as soon as that. Her banner will last until August the 9th. On August the 10th, your Mia's banner will come, followed by Sayu, who will be one of the four stars inside your Mia's banner. So that is all the information we know so far. So in this video, I'll be attempting my best to predict the other five four stars that will accompany these two for their banners. Before we jump into the predictions, just want to show an uh, overall image of all the four stars in game so far and all their rate up past histories. So how you would read this chart is whenever it's a check mark, that means in this case Sucro has appeared on Klee's banner, and Sucro has appeared again on Albedo's banner, something like that. And for a dash, that means the character was not in game or not playable during that period. So in this case, Xinyan was not in game until 1.1, so she was not playable in Venti or Klee's banner. However, do note that she was made available in 1.1 even though she did not come to be read up until John Lee's banner. However, for calculation purposes, it still counts as she was made playable as soon as 1.1 went live. So how to read the second last line? The first number is the total read up times for any 4 stars. In this case, Sucro had 4 times and Bennett has 3 times. The second, four, the second number is the total number of banners this character has been through since they became playable in Genshin. So Sucro's being a character available since launch has been through 15 banners. While for a character like Xin Yang, who has been playable since 1.1, missed the two banners in 1.0, so she has gone through 13 banners. And for someone like Yan Fei, who was not playable until 1.5, she has only gone through four banners. And the last line is just the numbers of 4 divided by 15 in this case explained here. So it is calculated sort of as a rough percentage of how many times the characters are up versus how many banners they have been through as a total. So this is used to roughly calculate the percentage. This will also help us determine some of the 4 stars that are very likely to rate up because the lower the chance, the, the lower the percentage here, the higher the chance that the next banner will have this character inside. So with that said, let's, we can first safely remove any characters from Klee and Kazuha's banner. Because at least according to Mihoyo's rate up 4 star rule so far, the maximum, the minimum gap needed for characters to consecutive rate up needs to be 2 banners apart. So for example here, Fischl rated up on Child's banner, went through 2 banners of not rating up and rated up again at Klee's banner. Similar case happened with Barbara I believe, here between Kaching and Child's banner, and again, similar case happened with Xinchu between Gang Yu and Hu Tao's banner. So following this rule, that means that anyone in Klee and Kazuha's banner will not be read up in 1.7, which means we can safely remove Sucrose, Bennett, Razor, Fischl, Rosaria, and Barbara from these banners. So that cleans the table up to this format. So next, we can safely determine one character that will be most definitely be rating up in patch 1.7, and that character is Yan Fei. I'll explain my reasoning here. I call this the 4 star rerun rule, however, it is basically a rule that is technically in Genshin. So in Xin Yan and Diona's case, they were first rate up in patch 1.1, and their first rerun both appear in patch 1.3 two patches later. The other 4 star that is added into the game that has not been there since launch is Rosaria. She also follows this rule. Child's rerun was in patch 1.4. 
Kazuha's banner is in patch 1.6. There is also a two patch gap. There is also a one patch gap in between. So if that is the case, then it means that Yanfei should also follow this rule, which means she had her first banner in Zhongli's rerun during patch 1.5, which means her re first rerun banner will happen in patch 1.7. So with that, we can safely remove Yanfei from this table and put her down here, as she will be one of the likely ones to be rated up. Now next, let's look at the three characters that has not been rated up for a long time. So Shanling, Changyun, and Ningguang. All of which have not been rated up for quite a long time. As you can see, there is currently six banners in between Shanling's last rate up, same case with Chongyun, and same case with Ningguang. Another interesting to note is that Chongyun and Ningguang also has the lowest appearance rate in terms of banners. Chongyun has only appeared in two banners, Zhongli and Hu Tao's. Same with Ningguang. Ningguang has only appeared in Child's and Kachin's banner. Even though Xiangli has three banner appearances, but the first one was in 1.0, so it's quite far away. So all three of them, because of the large gap here, are likely to show up in patch 1.7 as well. Which is why I'll be removing these three from the table and then putting them down here. So that leaves the five slot last five characters to be picked and one of them to be picked. Now of course I can know I don't know exactly who to pick here because the stats here are kind of uh, uncertain at this point however my guess is going to be it's one of them between Beidou, Diona, and Xingqiu and I'll give my reasonings for each. Xinyan is not normally very popular when it comes to radar banners she has already gone through three and her last banner was Eula which was quite close so I don't think there need to be any reason for her to be rated up. Beidou, on the other hand, shares the similar situation, however, one thing to know for Beidou is that she is a character who has been in-game since 1.0. So, instead of, even though she has very similar stats to Xinyan, however, instead of 3 out of 13, she is actually 3 out of 15, which means out of these 5, she has the lowest appearance chance, which means she should get 1 rated up very soon. Even if not 1.7, we're probably looking at 1.8, Beidou will be on the banner somewhere. Same case with Diona. Diona's case is similar to Xinyan's. However, the reason I'm saying Diona might be read up is because of the two five stars currently in game. Uh, both Ayaka and Yoimiya can use Diona's kit very well since Diona is a very versatile healer, support, and also shielder. So Yoimiya can use the shielder and uh, the crowd application part, and Ayaka can use the crowd application part to make a double cryo because Ayaka's current best artifact slot is Blizzard Strayer, which does require a double cryo to further boost the crit rate. So what this is why even though Daya I, uh, even though Diona's stats looks very much like Xinyan's, however, I do think she has a better chance of rating up than Xinyan. Now finally, Xingqiu. I know he has the highest stats here, however, one thing to note is that Xingqiu is one of the most popular characters Mihoyo likes to put on banners, even though he's secretly OP. So another thing to note that if Xingqiu is to be rated up on Ayaka or Yoimiya's banner, which is roughly here and here in terms of position. Then we're looking at a two banner skip, which does follow the rule. So it is it is possible for Xingqiu to get rated up. And one last thing to note, for all of Xingqiu's previous banners, the character has always been a DPS or a very good sub DPS that is here. So both Ayaka and Yoimiya fits that style. And both of them can use Xingqiu, even though Yoimiya cannot use Xingqiu very well. However, Ayaka can definitely abuse Xingqiu's Q for a permafreeze comp, so it makes a lot of sense from the 5 star point of view to rate up Xingqiu. Lastly, Noel, I don't think there is a chance because Noel is again one of the starter characters you do get for free from the wishes. So even though she has a lot of potential against C6, Noel is broken. However, I don't think she works well with either of the five stars in this banner. So she will not be put up here. And the other thing is she has already been laid up four times, which means there should be a better break before next time. So finally, I put a bit of a summary on what each of the six um, four stars does. So for this one, I put Xingqiu, but for Beidou and Diona, I'll also be factoring them in when it comes to which one will be rating up on which. So first of all, for Ningguang, the reason Ningguang isn't rated up a lot is because she 
is very hard to fit into any banners because she is a few standing main DPS. So a lot of the times the five star has to be a support in order to put her in a banner. On top of that, even though she can sub DPS, the only thing she can do is push burst then leave. And because she is of the geo element, the only support application she has is generating shields, which is not a lot when it comes to dam when it comes to supportability. Damage wise, though, she is a top tier. Shanlin is far more versatile. She has two DPS build, the Chinese national team, or what I like to call the Liu team build. Basically, Shanlin, Chongyun, Xingqiu, and Bennett. Shanlin can play as pyro DPS there. If you also like Shanlin a lot, she can also play as physical DPS. She does do quite good damage that way, although that is not meta. Her more meta is pyro support DPS, pyro support or pyro sub DPS. Basically, you drop Gomba and you drop her Q, then she leaves the field. In that case, she will be doing more of an elemental mastery play. However, it also works very well. And as a pyro element, she specializes in vaporize, melt, and overload. Similar case goes with Yanfei, however, the thing with Yanfei is that she works best as a main DPS and her favorite reaction is specialized at overload, which again makes it harder to squeeze her into teams since she does not have as much supportability. Chongyun, on the other hand, is only good played as a cryo sub DPS. He will be likely put on Ayaka's banner because of the Crow Infusion, which works with Ayaka's kit as well. And for supportability wise, you can look at Melt, Freeze, and Superconduct for reaction. Xingqiu, on the other hand, is one of the better supports currently in game or sub DPS. His primary focus is Hydro sub DPS, and he has the capability as a pseudo healer. If you happen to roll a lot of HP on him, he can serve support as a pseudo healer. Sometimes, however, his main source about damage is Hydro D uh, sub DPS. Now, just putting Sayu here to say quickly what she does, even though she is already confirmed to be on Yoimiya's banner. However, her special ability is either as a sub DPS Anemo, using her E for most of the damage rolling around, and her Q can also support, heal, and deal damage off field at the same time, which makes her very versatile as well. So this is what I'm looking at. Currently Ayaka's banner is here, Yoimiya's banner is here, Sayu is already determined to be on Yoimiya's banner, and these are the 7 that's left. Again, I included Beto and Diona here because the last spot I'm not very certain who it is going to be. So one thing they might do is put Chongyun on Ayaka's banner because I've said before the crowd infusion. That leaves these two pyro to fit into separate banners because it makes no sense to squeeze two four star of the same element into the banner. I don't think they have done something like that before, although correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. So in this case, if I were to do this, I would put Shanlin on Ayaka's banner and the Yanfei on Yoimiya's banner. Here's the reason, Shanlin can support and Ayaka is played as a DPS. Even though she can be a sub DPS, her best play style is as a DPS, so it makes sense to put a pyro support here. Whereas for Yoimiya, she is a sub DPS mainly, so Yanfei who can work as a DPS can kind of work as her to p form a pure pyro team here, so pyro for damage and animal for swirl here. And lastly, if Ningguang has to be put on a banner because she has not appeared in a banner for a long time, and Xingqiu, as I've said before, is probably the best option for Ayaka when it comes to banner. So Ningguang can go on this banner as well, and Ayaka can go on this banner, uh, and Xingqiu can go on Ayaka's banner. Now, of course, this is making banners based on the assumption that the entire three four stars on the banner is supporting the five star, which is not always the case when Mihoyo makes banners. So this. This is what one possible configuration of the banner might look like. Here is another possible configuration of what the banner might look like if the four stars are just working on their own. So in this case, we can ignore the five star. In this case, Ningguang is the DPS, Xingqiu is the support, and Shanlin is the sub DPS. Xingqiu is the sub DPS, same with Shanlin. And in this case, Yanfei is probably the main DPS, and then both Changyun and Sayu are the sub DPS. Again, I'm not the best at making banners, and also this banner, the characters that needs to be rated up at this point is extremely awkward, so it might make a lot of sense to see what Mihoyo does for these two banners. Finally, moving on to my conclusion. 
I believe that I mean apart from Psy Yu who is already confirmed, I believe that Shanling, Chang Yu, Ning Guang, and Yan Fei will be four out of the five other four stars appearing on either Ayaka or Yoimiya's banner. Again, I'm not certain which one appear on which because this time the banner is really weird with the double pyro character here and also two DPS four stars squeezing it in and also Chang Yun kind of needs our force to go on Ayaka's banner with all these stuff limited it's kind of hard to figure out who goes on whose banner and for the last slot I'm guessing it's going to be be one of Shinchu, Beidou or Diona again I am not certain who the last one is going to be that is all the information I have for you today if you like the content please consider subscribing thank you and have a nice day